Hello everyone and welcome to what can be one of the most magical times of the year. Sometimes it's not because sometimes Sephora play boxes are awful. But sometimes they're fantastic. I have heard mixed feelings about this box. I feel like the majority of this month's box have been bad reviews. But I did get, I think, one person saying they loved this month's box. So hey, I mean... At least one person got their 10 bucks worth. As I'm cracking on into this, if you are new to Sephora Play Boxes, new to my channel, whatever the case may be, Sephora Play is Sephora's monthly subscription service that you can sign up for. It is $10 a month, plus whatever your state costs or charges for taxes. Minnesota, it's $10.70 something that I pay every single month. And then you get a curated collection of beauty products. You get five deluxe samples in each bag, and then you also get one perfume sample. Let's see, the theme of this month is complexion companions. I don't like to look in this because it tells me what the products are and I don't want to know what they are, but these pamphlets also come with a play pass. And if you bring this in stores and you make a purchase, some people claim you don't have to make a purchase. I've always done it with purchase, but you can bring this pass in and you can, you know, ask about the products. They've got the products listed on the back of this card just to help the associates out, but you can also give this to one of the associates at the register when you're checking out and it will get you 50 extra beauty insider points. <laughs> Sephora, your pun game always gets me and this is just so cute. Public display of complexion. Oh, So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's crack on into this. Let's see what we got inside. I always try and find the perfume sample first because that is always my least favorite part of a bag. I think this is it. Yep. This is Gabrielle from Chanel Paris. Eau de Parfum. Great. It doesn't list on here what this is supposed to smell like. But let's find out. Let's spray the card a little bit. I know scents differ from cardboard to skin, but... It just smells like a makeup counter. <laughs> you know that typical smell that you smell when you like walk into the makeup department of Macy's or something? That's exactly what it smells like. It's not a bad smell, it's just not something I personally wear on my body. But let's see what these other things are here. We'll go for this cardboard. Oh, I wonder... I actually think I have this already. I got this as a deluxe sample from Sephora once. You know how, like, if you're a beauty insider and you make a $25 purchase or more, you can pick out a deluxe sample? I think I picked this one. I'm gonna have to check and see if the color is the same, but this is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer drops in the shade Moonlight. I would be really excited for this if I didn't think I already had it. I haven't tried it yet, but I've really been wanting to. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm not gonna open this one just in case I actually do already have this product and then I can give this to one of you guys. But yeah, it's just supposed to be one of those liquid dropper things and it's supposed to give you a radiance that reflects and glows and I mean super nice size sample like I'm pretty sure the fact is you really only need like a drop of this I mean depending on how luminous you want to make yourself look but that bottle will last forever so that's a really nice size sample so like I said if not for me already having that I would be very excited about that let's see what's next we'll go for this box what is it? It's a Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster Serum. Hydra Plump Serum. Okay. It's another dropper type bottle. What is it? It's a serum? This is a pro secret, apparently. Used to boost and revive tired skin on sets. It works to boost skin radiance and luminosity. Use alone or mixed with your foundation or primer to boost comfort and hydration. Is there like a sparkle to it? Or is it just like a normal serum? No, it just looks like a like a normal serum. It's definitely got a cooling feeling to it. Oh, and kind of a little bit of a silicone feeling. I mean, it's interesting enough. I guess I can give it a shot. Not like super excited about it, but hey, at least it's something I haven't tried before. So next up here, we'll go for the other box in here. Do I have this already too? <laughs> I don't think I do. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. Let's see what this looks like. It's your instant fix for a bad face day. A lustrous, lavender-hued priming filter powered by luminescence that preps, perks, and perfects the complexion. Okay. 
I mean, I've heard lavender things definitely do, or they're supposed to perk up your complexion, so I can definitely give that a shot. Let's see, what do we think these last two items are here? We'll go for the little pot feeler. The pot feeler. Okay, kind of scary that that was partially open, but thank goodness there is a sticker on this. This is something from Laura Mercier. Oh god, I already have this too. <laughs> I feel like this is more a fault of me rather than these Sephora bags, but I got a bigger sample of this in a Sephora favorites kit a couple holidays ago, one holiday season ago. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the Translucent Formula. Again, I mean, if I didn't already have this, I would be super duper excited about this because this is a cult classic here on YouTube and I hear great things about it. I still haven't tried my sample because I've been going through some other powders and stuff but you know this is a really nice size looking sample it's it just feels nice and I'm excited I'll be able to give it to one of you guys so I'm sorry about any of my fingerprints on that but it will be unopened I mean in the sense that the little sticker part will be untouched and everything and hopefully one of you all will be able to enjoy this and last but not least what do we have in this little bottle this, this, they really sent out a foundation I'm always surprised when they do that but I don't think I've tried this one before so I'm actually excited about this it does look like color wise it might be a good match for me. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. They gave me the shade R230. I will say, I think it's a little strange that they included two things from the same brand. Can you hear the sirens? Even the police are like, yeah, Sephora, mm -mm, switch it up next time. But, you know, I feel like overall they did give a good mix of products, especially for the complexion. You know, a foundation, a serum thing, we got a primer, we got a, hi a highlighter, I was gonna call it a hydrator, and also a setting powder powder so I do think overall like I said if I didn't already have a lot of these products I would probably be super duper excited about this mix of things and think that it was a really nice little curated collection. So I don't know, I would love to hear from you all that told me you did not like this box. I would love to hear from you just telling me in the comments below what you didn't like about your box. And Sephora does send out different products to different people, so maybe you got different products from me. I would love to hear all of that. But what I also love to see with these play boxes is whether or not Sephora's pun game was on point. Sephora tends to do a great job Job with their puns. Super cute little diagram here. It just says, good morning. It says, mornings are hectic, but creating your perfect complexion isn't. Complexion companions, keep your friends close and your beauty routine closer. This month is all about setting you up for a flawless look that takes just a few minutes and lasts all day. These products are going to create that hashtag no filter finish. So for the primer, they say feeling just prime. The foundation is gotcha covered. I don't feel like that's really a pun, but you know, it's a good saying there. Ha! The setting powder is knowledge is powder. <laughs> the cover effects drops are drop and glow. Is that like supposed to be like drop and go? The next one here for the serum is the best of the boost. <laughs> I love that. And I don't know that this is a pun either, but the perfume is the gift of Gabrielle Chanel. You can see apparently it was supposed to be a mix of jasmine, sparkling orange blossom, vibrant ylang ylang, or is it just lang lang, and sweet and creamy grasse tuberose for a luminous floral scent. So yeah, there you go you guys. There was my Sephora play box unboxing, opening, unbagging, what Whatever you are going to want to call it for this month of October here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. Like I said earlier, I'd love to hear from you all what you did get, what you didn't get, what you would have liked to have gotten, if you liked the box, if you hated the box. I just love hearing from you in the comments down below. And yeah, overall, I just hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be. If you did, please do go ahead, give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!